So look, if you want to grow your wealth, your income, and increase the amount of time off, then these are the shortcuts that can help. Welcome to the Wealth Creation Podcast. Hi, it's Dan Latter speaking. Hope you're well. Thank you for joining us on this podcast. So in this podcast today, I wanted to talk to you about what I've invested in to create the lifestyle that I currently live. So um, if you don't know already, I uh, live in the Mediterranean next to the beach, about 100 metres, 150 metres away, a uh, four-bed villa with a pool, we've done all right for ourselves, um, and we've got a lot of property that pays monthly cash flow. And generally, that's what pays our income, although we've got an increasing amount of income coming in from our digital marketing, uh, can't even say it, our digital marketing agency, and that's going really well for us too. But in terms of getting us to this position, you know, I've been investing in property now for 20 years. And, you know, I see it all the time, people talking about, oh, be financially free. As a financial freedom is something that's five five years away. And my experience certainly hasn't been that. And that's not to say that that can't happen, because I've, I've met people who are now financially free. But I've also met a lot of people who claim to be millionaires, who claim to be financially free. And actually, all they're really doing... Right, let's just take, let's just pick on one, shall we? Unfairly or fairly, depending on. Uh, there's a certain person who runs a property training company. Now, drives a Ferrari, has nice cars, nice house. But how many hours a week is that guy working? Like, a lot, right? You know, 40, 50, 60 hour weeks. Uh, pff, that's not for me, okay? But if that's, if that's what they want to do, then I, I don't have an issue with that. But that's not financial freedom because you still haven't exchanged time for money. If you're making more money off your business than you are off your assets, that's not financial freedom. Financial freedom is where you're making more money from your assets than you do from your business. Okay. Now, I'm a hypocrite here because I've got my own digital marketing company. Maybe, but I'm certainly not working 40 hour weeks, maybe 10 on a good week. You know, maybe not that many. Who knows? I certainly don't keep track of how many hours I work. I just choose to work on it. So... What is the stuff that I've invested in in order to get us to this position where 20 years later, we've got more cash flow coming in than our expenses going out. We're financially free. And obviously, there are certain things like investments. And by the way, I know you are wondering who, who I was referring to, but I, I actually wasn't referring to a specific individual. That could be any of those individuals, couldn't it? But obviously, we've invested in property, okay, because that's what creates the cash flow. But there's... Behind all that success that we've got with property, there are other investments that, you know, the vehicle that I chose happened to be property. But if the vehicle was gold, I would have invested in other things that would have got me the the same results. It just happens to be property. It could have been Bitcoin or it could have been anything, basically. It didn't have to have been property. That's what I'm saying. It could have been selling matchstick models, right? And if I'd have invested in myself over the last 20 years then I would have still achieved the same result just on a different vehicle. So what is it specifically that I've invested in? So let me just run through here. So there's a number of different things. So obviously I've invested in training. You know, I've invested in not so much property training, actually. Um, I did do someone's course, but I only did it. It was like a 10 grand course, but I did it because I got it for free. And I didn't really, well, I didn't learn anything on that course, frankly. And I still to this day, this was 15 years ago, still to this day, I've got more property than the guy that actually ran the course. Uh, and that's not to say anything bad about the guy running the course. He just likes running courses, right? He runs them on property um, and he makes his money running courses. And there's nothing wrong with that per se. You know, and lots of people sign up for that training every year and it's gone up to be more and more expensive. Anyway, I did that training, got it for free, didn't get that much. And I was going for a breakup about 10 years ago it was. I was going for a breakup. I'd already got millions of pounds of property. And really the, the um, reason I was going through that was really as a survival mechanism just to put myself into a group of people who were forward thinking to survive what I was going through with my breakup and so on and kids being abducted and all of that kind of thing. But so I have done some property training, but really I was there for mindset. But the other training that I've done, you know, I've done Tony Robbins. I've walked on burning hot coals. You know, when you tell normal people this, by the way, they're like, what? You are crazy. Why would you do that? And and the reason why you do that is, is if I can do that, I can do anything. And I've done that a couple of times, actually. I've broken arrows with my throat. I've, I've bent bars with my neck, with the throat part of my neck, where you walk forward and the bar bend. So we've done all sorts of crazy stuff like that. 
Um, I've done um, speaker training because when I was going on stage, I used to get really nervous, like tummy ache nervous and thought I was going to pass out nervous. So I used to get really nervous. I've done all my NLP training, my NLP, um, my normal NLP and my, excuse me, my NLP master. I've done all that. I've done train the trainer. I've done all the personal development training courses through Chris Howard, which I'm very proud to have done. So I've done an awful lot. And that's the investment that you need to be making right now. I can't even tell you. I mean, when we moved from England to Spain, we got rid of a lot of books. Um, we just gave them away or we sold a couple, but we just got rid of them. And I can't, you know, I kind of wish I'd have brought them with me, but I would just have a cellar full of books. I could have done in my garage video. Uh, more important than Lamborghinis is knowledge, if you've seen that Ty Lopez video. But, you know, Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of books. Like, there's a reason why we didn't bring them all, because they're way bloody ton, right? Um, so, when we talk about investing, you know, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of books. Hours and hours and hours on Audible. More hours and hours and hours on podcasts. All sorts of different podcasts. Watching videos. Uh, signed up for Frank Kern. I'm in Cardone University. You know, I continually invest in me. Because there's four asset classes, okay? And the most important asset class isn't property. It's not business and it's not stocks and shares. The, the most important asset class, which is number four, which everybody misses out, is me. I am worth investing in. Just like you are worth investing in. You know, when, when people come out to the villa um, and they come and spend two days with me, they go home with a plan for the next 12 months that, if implemented, will transform their world massively. Right? And not everybody goes home and, and implements the plan because life gets in the way, no discipline, the raw material isn't there for them to actually do the things that we needed to have done, confidence issues, they get distracted, whatever. There's a million reasons why. Those that do come and do the training and then they go and then they implement, their life is changed and will never be the same again because they're just fundamentally shifted, right? But paying... And investing in yourself to go out and do the training courses. I mean, do you know what's really funny? I was at Grant Cardone's last year, uh, London event, and we had two property speakers on. And fuck me sideways. I walked out because I was like, guys, this is just like the most basic stuff. Telling me about when he was a kid. I don't give a shit about what happened when you were a kid. I just don't care. Why would I care about that? Oh, well, my dad wasn't very nice. I don't care about your dad. What, what, what do I need to listen to about your dad for? So, it, you know, the investment in yourself will get you to the point where you go on a training course. You're like, what the fuck am I here for? I've not learned a bloody thing. I spent five grand to go to Las Vegas for one training. It was over three days and I learned zip. Nothing. And I'm, I'm like, this guy's a multi, multi, multi millionaire through his business, generates millions of pounds a year. Crazy. Nothing special, nothing unique. Just same old bog standard. The only difference was he's doing it. And actually, that is the thing that I learned, was I don't need more information. I just need to goddamn do it. And that actually could be the same for you. So the investment that you make is in the investment in failure. I mean, how's that for, like, you should tweet that. That's amazing. The, the biggest investment in yourself is one of failure. Oh, how powerful. You fail again and again and again. So it, it's painful. You will learn not to fail. You will learn to get it right. Unfortunately, failure has taught us never to even try. Whereas actually, failure should teach us to keep going and going and going till you get it right and you get the result that you want. There's a funny saying that's been popping around in my head this morning, and it's from uh, Muhammad Ali, and he's, he's talking about uh, sit-ups. Oh, I don't start counting sit-ups um, when I start doing sit-ups. I start counting sit-ups from when it hurts. And I'm like, yeah, same here, two. Do you get that? Anyway, that's my joke three because it start it hurts at one anyway so the whole idea here is that you invest in yourself that is the biggest difference that you're going to ever ever make it doesn't matter what the vehicle is it happens to have been property for me and we've gone fully into property uh, my pension doesn't really exist although we're just starting to you know we've got a sip and we're starting to push stuff through there now um i'm 47 now so you know not that much time for that to do anything, but it's tax-free lump sum to some extent when it comes through at 55 or 60 or 65. But it's like a little backup in case something happens on property or tax or whatever. Who knows with the current government shambles. But in terms of investing in your lifestyle, 
like I've just had uh, a conversation with my 14 year old daughter who's doing psychology and I've not seen them due to family um, court stuff for like eight months, seven months now. And mum's, you know, trying to break the relationship up and all of that kind of thing. But it's almost worked, but it, it didn't in the end. So um, my daughter's talking about psychology and we just had, we were talking about the Stanford prison experiment, actually, you know, where they put the uh, 20 people, uh, half of them were guards, half of them were prisoners, and we put them into a, an environment in Stanford in the basement at the university there. And uh, it's on Netflix. Go watch it, by the way. It's really interesting. So we're talking about that. We're talking about Milgram's hierarchy. We're talking about psychology and NLP. But that stuff is the stuff that's really transformed my life. The NLP stuff saved my life on so many occasions where I've been at the stage where I'm like, what is the point? This mountain to climb is so difficult. I don't, I don't want, not only can I not climb this mountain, I don't want to climb this mountain. Let's end it right now. I've been there, folks. And I know there's a lot of people because 50% of people listening to us have been there. And I reckon that figure's low. I reckon about 70% of the time people at one point or another have thought, oh, I can't do this anymore. I just can't do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want the pain. But the NLP stuff has really helped. The planning of goals has really helped. The continual investment in me because I am worth it. Listen to the language. I, Dan, a big mouth northerner with five GCSEs who you'll never amount to anything, said my sociology teacher. Really, motherfucker. Remember that? How's your pension on your shitty teacher's pension living in fucking Leeds doing? God, my language is bad today. Whereas I'm 47 living next to a beach, bitch. Yeah, never amount to anything. Thanks for that. So, the continual investment in myself, and it still doesn't stop. So we were looking at, you know, do I go to Funnel Hacking Live in uh, February? That's, that's a three or four thousand pound investment in me. And I'm totally worth that. So the investments that you've got to start making are in you. Before you do anything else, and Grant Cardone says, before you invest in property or anything, get to 100 grand, then invest in that. And be- until you get to that point, you should be investing in yourself. And that is exactly right. You should be investing in yourself. So, look, I hope that's useful for you. I hope that gives you a bit of an insight in terms of, like, I'm not going to go into, well, I bought this property and it returns this amount. And I bought this other property and it gives me this amount. And I made this money off this client and I, I turned that into this amount of food stocks. And sh- That's not the nature of this specific podcast. There are other podcasts for that. This specific podcast is about you investing in yourself. And even the, the training course that I spent five grand on where I didn't learn anything except the fact that I just need to do this. Was, was like that was worth a five grand just to learn that right you'll never waste money investing it in yourself ever you will never ever waste money investing it in yourself because you are worth it and in 10 years time the money that i invest today and for the next 12 months i will get a return on that money over the next 10 years tenfold 20 fold 100 fold who the heck knows and then it comes down to implementation so never be afraid to spend money on yourself because you are the most important asset you've got. All right, I hope that's useful for you. We'll catch up with you in the next podcast. My name's Dan Latter. Take care. Hey, it's Dan here. Thank you for listening. Really appreciate each and every one of you. Please click like or subscribe to the entire podcast.